I knew that a lot of women in the world deal with body image and not maybe fitting what the norms say we should be as women physically or even emotionally or mentally. I experienced going through a traumatic car accident with my mom and losing her to cancer and taking care of her during all of that. And I lost myself somewhere in there and I had to find myself again. In 1950s and 60s, there were a million women, young women, who gave up babies for adoption, who were sent away to unwed mothers' homes. There are so many children out there with mental illnesses and parents really do tend to be silent about it. The story that I'm sharing in the book is about growing up um, Mennonite decaf in the Amish country and then I'm found out of the blue by my wild and zany Greek biological mother. I got my bachelor's degree when I was 54 years old and then I went on to get my master's degree when I was 56 years old. I'd been at a point in my life where it was being really hard on myself for not having stood up for the things that I believed in earlier in my life. My story is about an experience I had as, as a young girl losing my father, my grandmother, my grandfather, and watching my mother become mentally ill all within the span of about a year. I came here from Germany at 19 years of age and with no mastery of English language, no green card, only $200. I think to really appreciate life, you have to learn about a lot of different things. It's very easy to just sort of sit back and let life pass you by, and um, no fun in that. When we share our stories, that's when the magic happens. That helps another woman, and it is through that collective storytelling and the sharing of our stories that we can together be the change in the world that we want. Hi, I'm Debbie Phillips. I'm the founder of Women on Fire. I'm so excited to introduce you to these 21 amazing co-authors. In these stories, you'll find the inspiration and the strategies and support to live the life of your dreams.